Hey guys, welcome to uh, Sailing Foxy Lady. This is my full restoration of a 1973 30 foot Arista cap. Uh, please like and subscribe if you would like to follow our progress. Thank you. Hey guys, another weekend working on the boat. Um, it's alright outside, it's about 9 degrees, bit of sun, bit of cloud, but uh, it's alright. Um, what time is it now? It's at 1 o'clock on a Saturday afternoon, so I left it a little bit late to come down here. But the um, flow coat that I put on has gone off nicely. Um, you know, not not pretty pretty but a hell of a lot better than than what was under there before so my plan today is to get that um piece in i keep calling it a bulkhead but it's not really a bulkhead it's just going to be a more decorative piece although it will technically act as a bulkhead um so i'm gonna get that fitted in uh and then from there so I can start working back but I can't really do anything back here until that's in because that's going to be the big old big old badger to get in there so uh, yeah that's it I'm just going to sort out because I've got so many sheets of wood and bits and pieces that I cut last weekend uh, so I'm going to sort out what I've got get it all in order I'll do a, a dry fit again see how she fits work out if I need to clean any other bits up um, and then what I'm thinking is, so I was just going to screw onto the uh, the pieces here, but I think I'm going to have epoxy on that edge there, so a nice thickened epoxy, and on here, squidge it on, and I'll have um, I'll make up some timber struts just to push it tight against there, and I'll probably cut a couple of self tappers into them. Uh, just hold it nice and tight while the epoxy's going off. Um, but yeah, I'll stop talking and I'll uh, get on with that. Hey guys, so I've got some butter on you underneath. Um, I'm just going to bang a few screws in here, just hold it down nice and tight. Um, and then tomorrow, potentially, or if not, it'll be next week. I'll uh, run the tab in around the edges. Sounds like I completely missed that. Yep. Make sure these screws are, are flush when I put the, the flooring down. Thank <laughs> you. 
plenty enough um, the word on mechanical fixing. There's got a chemical around the edge, mechanical holding it down. There's the uh, infill. Seems that that is sat higher than the uh, franking pieces. It really is. I can see how it's bent the uh, material here. So the easiest fix here. If that epoxy will release it. Hey guys, <laughs> confession time. Uh, so I was in a rush. I wanted to get this floor in, just fixed in, so I could uh, put what I wanted to do in. Um, what I've done, a piece of wood that runs under here, you'll see sort of pitters out to an end here. Uh, a screw for about an inch long, I've gone down. It's gone through that bit of wood. And I'm pretty sure because it made a bit of a funny noise. I've gone into the glass. Um, I haven't tried to remove it because there's no water coming in or any sort of moisture under there. No, it's all dry. But because <laughs> it's gone into the glass, I'm scared to, uh, to take it out. Now, the problem is, I'm not going to leave it like that because that's just, no, this is not me. Um, but next low tide is, it's 11 o'clock tonight. So I'm going to come down at 11, leave a head torch on. Um, just remove that screw as long as uh, the water is below, the water line is below the, the hull there. Uh, and I've, even if it hasn't penetrated the hole, if it's just gone in a little bit, I chuck some epoxy in there um, just to make sure she's 100% tight. Not great, not a great start to the day. Hey guys, move on about 40 minutes an hour. Um, I couldn't wait. I was going to come 11 o'clock tonight and um, check out low tide. I couldn't bother to wait, so I took the rest of the screws out. Undone that one, expecting to have a little uh, little water feature, and it's fine. So I think I was very lucky. So I've put a short, I've put some epoxy in that hole, and then put a shorter screw in on that corner. Um, trouble is, a lot of the epoxy that was squidging it down with is now so on the, on the actual piece has gone to gone to rats. So I'm just going to finish. I've packed this this out, make it to the right height to get rid of the high bit on this beam here. Um, so if that's all good, I can then move on, fit in the bulkhead, and then I'll get the gaps filled in, do the uh, tabbing tomorrow, and it'll all be good. Let's see if this goes in all right. Can't remember which way I've done it. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, still got a bit of wobble in there. That's not, that's not great. I may find myself. Oh, that's all right. So I was going to say, I might find myself a wood chisel. Just taking the top of that little bit of batten off. Yeah, I might still have a little scrape on the top of that to get that high, little high bit off there. Yeah, 
Mm, yeah, it's not great now because of uh, packing that out. Not sure I like that. It's not sat on the on the hull anymore. I'm not this side. Ah, oh, okay, all right. Back to the drawing board here. I think I think I'm going to chisel. That no. Put some epoxy down there, I think. Put some epoxy down there. Or some nice thickened resin just to block that up. I think it's gonna be the best best workable plan here. Nice thick so it doesn't run down into the bilge. It's a nice thick butter to put along there. Uh, do the same this side. And I'll just get a plane and plane this high bit off here. You can see there's some old um, resin and stuff on there. Hmm. Bear with me. Okay, it's been all of about 20 seconds. Um, I just chiselled off the, the dribbles of resin and uh, flow coat that was on that piece. now snug so that allow me to uh, cover the floor when I get to that stage so now I'm gonna move on with doing the bulkhead because I'll, I'll do it with me, me mixing up and stuff once that bulkheads in because I'll see around that and around this as a as a wanna but that's it for now I'm just going to get back having a bit of a clean up. Uh, the power's off in minutes. I can't hoover up all the all the toot that's been knocked off into there. But I can get up with setting up the uh, the lower bulkhead, uh, working out how that's going to roll. Cheers.
quick uh, quick sit rep, so I'll turn my music off. So I've done some uh, polyester filleting just around, ooh, there's a big lump there. I'll uh, address that when it's gone off a little bit. So I've done some filleting, uh, right, polyester there, but it's only because I wasn't intending to do in this side. Um, because it's, it's more thickened epoxy under that side than there is that side. Um, so, so I've put the polyester on there. The epoxy is doing the, the sticking, the polyester is doing the filleting. Um, so I'll see how that goes off. The only edges here where it's a little bit larger uh, and there's still some epoxy in there. I'll wait for that epoxy to go off fully. I've knocked back anything that's protruding hugely. Um, and then I'll fill it around there, get filleting down here, finish off along that edge here with some, uh, and in and around here with polyester. But I'm going to wait for that epoxy to, to set, so that's going to be a, be a tomorrow job now, realistically. Um, what I'm going to look at now, because I'm pretty much, can't do much back there, is work out where I want the opening. So, I'm thinking the furthest over I can get to where the hole starts peeling round I want the line straight up through up around and then sort of down so I want it over this side more than that side how it was uh, and so I'll put that sheet over the top so it's got maximum strength this will be double skinned that'll be double skinned loads of strength there um, and that'll allow me to, to open them up but, before I get there, well, I'm going to work out exactly the width of the opening. And then I've got to work out the size of the bottom step. So I'll use the old bottom step as a template, work out exactly how it'll go. And that'll be get going home to be get cut. And then where the bottom step sits and where the doorway sits is where I'm going to have my hatch in this floor piece here. And I can mark that out, take it home, chop it, and do similar to what I've done there. Um, yeah, so that's just what I'm going to do now. So there's not a lot for me to film. I've just got to need to do some measuring, some drawings, some, some doodles to work out exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, and then I'll start doing it. Cheers. Hey guys, so I'm just messing around with the stairs and trying to get the window open. Get some fresh air in here. Um, so I sort of mocked up how they were ish. Uh, now the top step, I've just because it is such a horrible, weird shape. So it used to be like that, um, and a big unit thing used to stick out here. Um, so I'm going to do basically what the other side's like and run it back to the hole. So I've chopped that off. This step now. Same size as the other side, what, what uh, me and Sam like, and that works quite well. The bottom step, this is still how it was. Um, so again, got a big flat bit here from where the, the old unit used to be here. So I think the intention is that we're gonna run this back to a point and I'll come bring it out. So you're a good, good foot distance there probably a little bit further out than it is now but I'll work out where the doorway is going to be the width of it and then that will obviously restrict how this goes but ultimately I think it's going to go pretty much from here and then back through onto there and then I'll, be, I'll see what it's like measurement wise, foot wise and how it flows I'll make up my templates because um, obviously this one here isn't a great line through there uh, I've not cut that, that's how it that's how it was so I'll make that a little bit better fitting um, yeah so I'm just going to work out what the bottom step is like give that a cut and I'll, uh, I'll tune back in in a minute once I've got it all mocked up I'm going to bring this one up a little bit as well because currently the way the bulkhead was it was sort of that's the height it was and there's this huge step between that one and that one so I'm going to try and balance it out um, to make it even Nice even steps. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's why I'm at the minute. Uh, I'm not going to harp on, I'm not going to carry on filming 
rubbish. Um, I'm just going to carry on making my measurements, get it set up, and then once I'm happy how it is, I'll tune back in before making the templates. Hey guys, well, I don't have enough hands to hold all my templates and crazy things that I've made up. But the bottom step is going to look something like this. So come the opening will be there and the step will run all the way up to it to give me as, as much depth as I, as I can and I'll run back down to the end of the staircase there. Um, then this, the top step, or middle step, whatever you want to call it. It's made out of my black sheet. Again, it will run back down to the end and we'll sit something like that. Not um, great with the way me trying to hold it, but I think it'll work quite well. Ultimately, spit it out ultimately the only way i'm gonna really know is to take these bits of sheet home uh cut them out of a bit of ply put, put them in place and see how it works uh at least when, it, when it's timber i can then sort of put temporary braces in so i'll give it a spin see if i like it or not if i don't like it back to the drawing board if it works happy days so now all i'm gonna do is move these templates move this stuff now I know this bottom step isn't hugely going to interfere with this floor panel. Uh, I'm going to work out quickly-ish where my worktop will run. So see, like I mentioned before, the unit will come out to, to here somewhere you know, as, as, a, as a worktop. And as it hits the base of the stairs, I want it to walk in a little bit and sort of pitter off. Um, down to the here, you know, so it, it, it bends around to, to the opening here. And also having that worktop in there acts as a, I want to say stringer, could be wrong. But I think I'll act as a stringer on that big piece there to keep it rigid. Um, yeah, so I know how roughly how that's going to go. I know where the step's going to be as long as I stick with that plan. So to that end now, I can work out where I want my opening on this sheet, take it home, chop it, and touch wood tomorrow, once I've done all my filleting and stuff in there, I'll splodge this one down. And if the stairs work okay, maybe look at getting them put in. Actually, now I'm talking rubbish. I'll get the floor put in, then I need to look at doing this bulkhead before I do the stairs. But soon, it's all coming very soon. But for now, I'm just going to uh, leave it there for the day for my, for my YouTube recording. Because all I'll do is I'll do my quick work calculations here, where my board's going to go, and then that's it. Nothing, nothing too exciting. Cheers, guys.